Hello everybody and welcome back to the Biosphere Adventure. And as it turns out, um, a lot of the problem was being caused by, well, <laughs> if you know anything about a mod called Optifine, you won't be surprised that it was Optifine causing the problem. Um, supposedly, Optifine optimizes the uh, the, um, the the way that Minecraft uh, generates around you and stuff to help um, you know allow allow more uh, what's the word faster like generation the generation isn't the word I'm looking for it's something else. Um, I just can't think of what the word is right now. Basically, it's so that that lag that you just saw doesn't happen. <laughs> because, you know, things are loading in in the world and stuff. And, unfortunately, every time I have ever used Optifine, it actually causes me problems. So, not a surprise that it was Optifine causing us the inability to actually do anything. <laughs> so I have removed Optifine. Um, I don't think I added any new mods in between. I don't think I added or edited any mods. I don't remember adding any new mods. I may have added a new mod. I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't think I did. But we got our Optifine problem fixed. So here's what we're going to do now. Um, the thing that we have to do at this point is that we need to create um, our storage area. Um, I want to move our house over here, and not over there, but over there to that desert biome thing. Oh yeah, I can't zoom in because I don't have Optifine. Oy. Now over there to the mesosphere, um, I want to move everything over there. So because I want to move everything over there, I need enough building blocks to be able to build something over there. Um, I think for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and build a, a cobblestone structure. Um, we can expand more on that pretty easily once we uh, get done building the, the basic layout of the structure and so on. Um, dirt and cobblestone are the easiest ones to um, create with, uh, to create like the layout and stuff of what you're trying to build with. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of cobblestone and we're going to come over towards the, uh, the mesosphere and we're going to build ourselves a little house this episode. Um, I was thinking of doing this on a live stream, but I don't know. I think that I'm going to go ahead and build the uh, um, the uh, the storage area up pretty quick here. Um, I don't know that I'll build the actual house. I'll probably just build the storage area for now, and then we'll go from there. So. I just want to get the storage area built so that we can start storing things with ease. So that's what I'm going to uh, make my first step here. And to do that I want to dig out a, a good section of this mesa over here. I think this plot of land here should be pretty decent for this. 
Let me just uh, finish that. Yeah, I think this plot of land here will be pretty much good for what I need. Um, well, let's find out what lies underneath the white stained clay. Stone. Alrighty. That is not at all what I expected. I was hoping for Mesa stuff. Something for, uh, you know, more clay. <laughs> so, oh well. I guess we can't all be perfect in that regard. Can't we? I guess we can't have a perfect Mesa biome. We'll just have a standard stone biome. Not a big deal. Just uh, finish clearing out uh, a good section of this. In fact, since we have all this white stained clay, I suppose we could use it. I would like to know if there's a way to unmake stained clay. Um, I don't think there is though. Use bone meal for it that way. There's no crafting recipes the opposite way. So I'm going to guess that there's no way to unstain clay, which is a little sad because, I mean, there's all the stained clay here. That would be great for um, if I could, you know, recolor it. But I don't think I can. Uh, maybe I'll add that into my serene core. <laughs> it's like use a bucket of water or something. I don't know. I guess I'll just finish mining out this section here. And actually, hang on. If I use the white stained clay to build with, they create a, a flat surface, a square flat surface. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If I do this, should now be seven in all directions. Should be all I need, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now I have eight by eight. <laughs> I, whatever, I'll make it work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Because I do want it to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Want it to be a seven by seven. I thought I had it at seven by seven, and I was like, nope. But it, in fact, was the entire time. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure on that. So let's create an opening right here. Drop that there. And then we will just kind of go around like so. I wish this was Minecraft 1.8 because then I could have like diorite. Last time I built a storage unit, I built a diorite because I liked the I like the way that diorite looks, you know. So that's what I built it out of. It's a nice white block that I think looks pretty good. White stained clay looks more fleshy. <laughs> I know that might sound weird, but that's 
Honestly, what I view it as is a more fleshy color as opposed to white. Then, in the building game, that's generally what people use for flesh color. So, I suppose it's not going to sound too weird. This is what, four high? Is that what I want? I want three high, don't I? I think I just want three high. Yeah, I just need three high. Do you need to build that? Get three high and lay down some torches before I get too involved in this. And it uh, goes dark in here. Because it will as soon as I get this roof put on. Now the real trick is creating the uh, storage system because that's actually quite complicated to do. <laughs> so because what we need is a way down in two spots and I guess we'll drop it there. Um, we're going to need a crafting table first and foremost. Put it right out here and we need good bunch of sticks because we need a bunch of letters. That should be enough, at least for now. We need to go down roughly about that much should be good. And now we have a chest that goes here. Um, I don't have my chest. Let's make storage. And then we will fly over to the home sphere and grab our chests out of this one. Where is it? There are eight chests. There they are. And while we're here, we'll stop and make a door. That did not work out at all. I also wish this was 1.8 because of the fact that uh, it adds more doors. So, oh well. So we need this to go here. And then we need a wooden transport pipe which we need glass for. I should bring my crafting pillar over here so that I can leave stuff in there. That is the one nice thing about the crafting pillar. You can leave items in it. Grab our glass and I guess we will smelt that. There's our door and go over to storage so and go out here <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to need that many wooden transport pipes I, I don't think I even need that many wooden transport pipes but what can you do? so we're going to come down here and dig out this area just a little bit like so now we're going to place our wooden transport pipe there um, that's going to draw things out of the treasure chest that's up there um, except I have this wrong actually because I need to put that there so that I can hide the mechanism. So then we're going to need a redstone engine. And a redstone engine is three pieces of wood, 
one piece of glass, wood gears, and a piston. So that shouldn't be too hard. Let's head on back to the home sphere and go to sleep. And then create a piston, which if I am remembering correctly is three pieces of wood. two pieces of cobblestone, one piece of iron, one redstone. Yay! We have a piston. And now the piston, so we have more glass here, so we can go piston at the bottom, glass in the middle, um, wood, planks at the top, I say surely I have more wood planks, and for the gears I need sticks. Make two wooden gears just like so. A bit rough around the edges. There we go, one redstone engine. And the last thing we need to do is a stick and a cobblestone. So we can get a lever. Now we can move back to our storage and make our way down here. Hello! Oh, so easy. There we go. Now we're just going to kind of dig around here a little bit. I guess I could make a second one to make it faster, but I'm not going to worry about that. There we go. Turned it on. I uh, don't actually need to turn it on though. Not yet. So let's see. Let's go ahead and just dig all this out real fast. There we go. Now then, um, what we're going to do is build another door because I want to hide the mechanism, but I want to be able to get to the mechanism. And now I need to mine this. Pop that there. I actually need to break my ladders again. Well, not again, but you know, I need to break the ladders. And do this to make it look nice and pretty. And while you can see into there, it's not that big of a deal. You just kind of have to slide into the door there. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. We'll find out in a minute though, once I get this to go further down. Actually, I need to do that to make it look more Beautiful. Beautification is an important thing in making things like this. Or at least in my opinion it is. So we only need to go down about one layer. Let's go down three. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, doop. Bring that down like so. And this is going to go outward like this. In which case, I'm going to need 
to actually make this entire floor um, this stuff. So we will work with that. Let's see now. I need what I need to do and to lay down some torches and lay down some letters and make sure I can get in here. Yes, I can. Alrighty then. So we have some stone pipes. These have medium drag. And what we're going to do is first we're going to lay down a diamond transport tube. And the diamond transport tube is going to be blank for the most part. Um, basically, there's going to be chests up here. And I guess I can go ahead and start laying those down. Um, chest there. And eventually these are going to be um, dime, uh, crystal chests that I'm going to use. So... Actually, if they're going to be crystal chests, then let's organize them better. Something akin to this. Uh, iron axe. Or busting that open a bit easier. There we go. That's what I want to do. Um, but I'm not actually going to be able to put that there, am I? No, I'm not. Because then this is going to be in the way. Um, okay. So we don't put a chest there. That's fine. I can still put those chests there. That is perfectly fine by me. So now I need to grab my torches again. Make sure this area is all nice and lit up. Because we don't want any mobs spawning down here. So not like creepers and things of that nature. Because that would be bad. Um, I mean, it's not like it really matters with the creepers because we have mob griefing off. But still, better to be uh, safe than sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's five there. So, uh, clean stone. We have some. Cool. So there should be a chest here, 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 and here. Very nice. These stone transport tubes will go right up into those chests like that without any difficulties. And now I'm out of stone transport tubes. <laughs> so let's go back up here and make some more. Let's do that and some of this. We got 16 of these. We're definitely going to need more than that by the end of this though. Go in. So this can hold one, two, three, four, five, six different directions. And one of them is already taken up. So we do have to consider that in our creating of this, which may be a good reason why there's only five chests a level. Um, let's see, actually I'm gonna need to go deeper than this because I'm going to need to put a pipe right here. So, that's fine. Uh, how best to do this? Because that's going to go like that. Let's see. Hang on. There is an easy way to do this. That is to do... Well, no, because that's going to be red. I think there's a pipe of some kind I can put 
to prevent redirection. I don't remember what kind of pipe that is though. Not immediately offhand. <laughs> so I will just go ahead and drop this lever right here. That is not the lever. And this is all this will bring it into here and then black out to this one. Um, the black will put in wood. And then we will turn this on. And if I open this up and I throw my spruce wood in there, after a moment it should start pulling the wood down. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to look up pipes and see... Is it the iron pipe? I think it's the iron pipe that limits directions. Let's go make an iron pipe. Oh look, it's almost night. It is becoming night again. So let's go to the uh, home sphere. And go to sleep. And you know what? I think this might be best done off camera. Um, I'll walk you guys through it once I'm done. But I think that this might actually be fairly boring to just sit here and watch the whole time. Um, so what I'll go ahead and do, um, I have to get one of these real quick though. That's going to require some wood, which I threw into the wood chest. Yay, look at that, it worked. I'll throw that stick in there for now. Let's get out my wood chest again. Um, actually, I only need one, don't I? Just need the one gear. Then surround it in cobblestone. Make a stone gear. And then wrench. Ta-da! Build craft wrench. We needed that big time. We're going to be working with pipes. We're going to need wrenches. So, yeah, I think I will uh, um, just build this up. And then I will, I guess, walk you guys through how I did it afterwards. Um, it just seems like the, the best option here. So... Uh, I did not mean to use that. <laughs> I wanted to use the stone transport pipes, actually. So yeah, um, I guess I will leave... Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, if you've been enjoying, uh, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave a like. And... Uh, I guess I will see everybody next time. So, keep calm and uh, pony on, everybody.